Hello again. It's time for challenge number three. And today I'm going to be making bread. So today's recipe is similar to the last one where I don't have any instructions, I just have the ingredients. I kind of know bread a little bit more than I know scones, although scones kind of are a bread, are they not? I don't know. As long as you sort of put flour and yeast and water in a bowl, you can kind of chuck anything in with it and it will still be like a loaf at the end. And like all oven home baked bread is delicious. So for this challenge, I've got two and a half hours starting from now. So let's do it. <laughs> so as usual, I need to start by weighing out my flour. So we need 500 grams of strong white bread flour. I want to chuck in two sachets of dried yeast. Sachets is a really hard word to say and sachets are a really hard thing to get into. Why didn't it have a little terry tab? Why would it not put a terry tab? Oh, hold the line. Please call us. With bread, ideally when you put the yeast in, it's best to keep it to one side and then when you put the salt in, you put the salt on the opposite side because if the salt and the yeast like touch when it's not mixed in the salt will kill the yeast i didn't do that um because why would i do that so i'm going to just mix it in first before i put in the salt so then i'm going to chuck in two teaspoons of salt and then mix that in and then you just want to make a nice little well in the middle of your bowl and i'm going to chuck 300 mils of water that's a sort of like a nice you know you put your hands under the tap you'd say oh this is nice warm water like that level of, of warm. You don't want it too hot because that will also kill the yeast because yeast is pathetic. And then you just want to stir it until it sort of incorporates into a nice dough and just sort of add the water gradually because you don't want to use too much. But you also might want to use it all. It's weird, it depends on the humidity, I think. I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. If it's more humid, then the flour needs less or maybe it needs more. I have no idea which way around it is, but the humidity does something that means that you need less or more than 300 mils. My relationship with bread is... We've got a checkered history. I used to think that making bread like was so boring because I would have to start making it at like 10 a.m. for a loaf to be ready at 7 p.m. Turns out I was just making bread wrong because I've since made a lot of bread and now I love bread. And like, as I say, all bread that you make at home is delicious. Even if it's stodgy and underproved or overproved and ugly, it's still delicious. Once again, I've got to go in with my hands. I very rarely make bread properly by hand because I have a mixer and I rely too much on it. But it is quite therapeutic in its own way. Once it actually is a dough and you need it, it's quite chill. So I've just washed my hands. I'm going to start kneading this dough on this surface. I have just realised one of the ingredients was 40 grams of butter. So I don't, I don't know when I was supposed to add that. I'll add it now. I'm going to add it now. Let's add the butter in now. I have this really bad issue where I don't read recipes and I know that I didn't have any instructions but I did have a list of ingredients um, so I should have read that and made sure that I had everything ready to go in but my brain just like assumes that I know what I'm doing or at least can figure it out. It also said soft butter. All of my butter is kept in the fridge so I've borrowed the house one so just don't tell them. So I'm just going to try and attempt to fold in this bud, this dough which is basically already made. I shouldn't be so cocky. Okay, I think if I can get it in the middle, once I start kneading it, it should like work its way through anyway. Hopefully. The olive oil, oh, come on. Just gonna make another little dent in the middle so I can pour the olive oil in this time. Honestly, Don't be like me. I got too ahead of myself. I got too confident. The scones went to my head. This is, this is disgusting. I've made a massive error. I'm gonna tip it out onto some more flour because it's gone a bit crazy with stickiness now. With flour and perseverance, I think we might be back on track. So that is excellent. I was worried for a second there that I was gonna have to write this one off, but I'm not giving that a definite call. There's still time for me to just sack this off because 
I'm too easily frustrated. But I'm just gonna need it for a little while and hope that it happens. But I'm very aware that this is gonna need like at least an hour to prove. So I need to get a move on. When I was in like year eight, we had to make bread and food. We had to design a loaf of bread. And I love sweets. I absolutely, I love sweets. My favorite sweets are like, what are my favorite sweets? My favorite sweets are probably cola bottles actually. So I decided that I wanted to make a bread that was sweet. I didn't really know about brioche because it was like 2004. I was like 11, but I made this bread that was pink for some reason like i know my hair is pink but i don't really have a real affinity for the color pink but even so i made a pink bread and i put marshmallows in it like i i rolled it out and i put marshmallows all over it and i rolled it up into like a long loaf incredible so good every now and then i think about replicating it but i just don't know if i ever will be able to I've never really feel like I've properly appreciated bread. I often found that like when you toast bread that's just, you know, sliced bread, it always goes really cold, like so quick. What doesn't go really cold though? Bagels. Toast a bagel, boiling for like a good 20 minutes afterwards. I would find that I would like get nice bread, generally on holiday, and I would be like, oh my God, bread's amazing. And then I would eat bread for ages, and I'd get home and I'd toast some, and it'd be cold and I'd be back at square one again, where I'd be like, I don't like bread. One thing I'll never understand them is the people that buy thin sliced bread. Absolutely not. What are you using it for? If any of you buy thin sliced bread, can you please tell me what you're using it for? At the very least, you try and butter that absolutely gonna have holes in it holes everywhere and like where's the sustenance bread is supposed to be filling that's why you have it for breakfast i just think it's awful i just think it's wrong in so many ways i don't even know why they still make thin sliced bread medium is fine i have medium sliced bread for my breakfast crusts off of course because i'm six years old but the ideal bread is a good white loaf of bread cut into doorstop wedges hot with loads of butter i could eat it for days i think she has been salvaged which is a joy you were about to get a vicky number two where i did this a second time in secret and then told you all at the end because i felt too guilty about the fact that i hadn't done it the first time around but maybe not maybe she's fine i live in rented accommodation so of course i don't have a proven drawer but a good tip that i found for bread is to like prove it if you set the oven to like 50 degrees for like five minutes switch it off proven drawer so hopefully the warmth of the oven will help it like prove a little bit faster because we are on a time limit i think i finished kneading her now so i'm gonna put her back in the bowl cover it with cling film and then put it in the oven for an hour if i've got time yeah, I've got two hours. The oven is off. Um, don't put it in an on oven or it will cook. So it's been proven for an hour. She's big. So what we need to do is I need to knock it back and then reshape it and then let it prove for a second time, but for a much shorter time. This has gone so much better than, than I thought it was gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna get a little tray, put it on and then shape it and then cut some nice patterns in it and then leave it to prove for a second time. It's so annoying how much they shrink. Like, cause they grow so big and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna have the biggest loaf of bread. And then you knock the air out and it turns into the same size as it was, which I like, I know that's the point, but I wish it wasn't. I want it to be like as round as I can get it, but I don't have all day. Okay. I bought, oh, bought a new tool. So because I have a newfound appreciation for bread, I bought myself this. I love it. It's a raised blade on a stick, um, but it means that I get to make some really nice fun patterns. I haven't really learned how to use it properly yet. Like there was an attempt. If you look at the stuff that I've already made, you'll see that there was an attempt. It's not a very good attempt, but it's an attempt. So I think I'm just gonna go for like some crosses in this one. Although I'm actually, should I do this now? Yeah. No, now or like, I can't decide whether I should score it now or after it's proved. Now, I've started so I'll finish. I 
I really hope I've not ruined it by doing this star shape, but it's what I've done. So there you go. I'm gonna leave it for another 30 minutes. I'm gonna put it back in the same warm oven to just go for a second proof and then, well, I suppose I'll put it in the same warm oven for like half the time and then I'll take it out because then I need to preheat the oven to actually cook it, you know? I also just realised I should cover it with a clean tea towel otherwise it's going to go all like crusty and like, horrible. I've only been waiting for 10 minutes but I feel like I've been waiting for 10 years. Set the oven to 180 again, because I'm using the same theory that it cooks everything. It worked for the scones, so hopefully it'll work for the bread as well. We'll have to wait and see. For now I'm just going to watch it, but not really because it's under a tea towel, so I can't actually see anything. The oven has just finished preheating, so I'm going to get ready to put her in. I don't know why I always gender my bacon, I'm so sorry, I don't know their pronouns. Maybe I'm incorrect, I probably am. Let's reveal our dough. It's very exciting, isn't it? Like, it is boring and it is a very, very long process, but it is an exciting one when you like, when you see this, like, this is nice to look at. This is pleasing for my eyes. Anyway, I need to put it in the oven because I'm running out of time, as usual. So I'm gonna set a timer on that one for 25 minutes because bread normally takes about half an hour, but I find that my oven in particular is really, really good at overcooking bread. So like every time I've tried to make like a nice, like fancy bread, it's always come out like really, really, like I tried to make soft brioche so many times and I don't think it's ever been soft. Like not on the outside anyway. The inside's always been nice and fluffy, but the outside never has been. Anyways, 25 minutes, so fingers crossed. Two and a half hours is a long time. I'm hopeful. Two minutes to go. Oh my God. So the thing with bread is that you want it to sound hollow when you tap on the bottom of it. So hopefully that's gonna happen. I think it sounds hollow. Hollow is one of those things where I'm like, I don't even really know what what hollow sounds like. Anyway, here she is, my bread. My bread. It smells like bread. It looks like bread. Mm. I heard that with bread, you're supposed to leave it to cool properly before you cut it to help keep it all nice and soft inside and like crunchy outside, but I don't want to. But I am gonna go get someone to come taste it. So I think I'm gonna get Aaron. So Aaron's my bread taster. Do you wanna be the bread cutter or do you wanna just be the bread taster? Um, I'll... Do you want the whole experience or do you just want the end bit? I just want the end bit. I okay. think I'm, I don't wanna ruin your beautiful loaf. Okay, I'll cut it. Oh, she's steamed. It looks quite doughy inside. Oh, I suppose it might be underbaked, but we're here now. Well, some with butter and some without. Okay. Mmm. So soft. Yeah? Mmm. That's good. You know how my, my bread always gets really hard on the bottom? Yeah. It's not too crusty. Mmm. That's good. Proof? It is slightly doughy. Yeah. If you I haven't cut into it so soon. Keep cooking a bit. Yeah. It's so hot and steamy in there. That's why I always make everyone wait before. I know. <laughs> they have the sourdough. I just hate waiting for bread because mm -hmm. I want it hot. Mm. Well, half a success on the bread. Like I wouldn't. I'm not going to get Star Baker this week, even though I'm the only one. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But never mind. This is really delicious. Thank you. I'm going to go. Bye.